Hey guys, got another Kihabara special for you. Can you guess what it is? It's got a glass globe here, a little pole in the middle, acrylic cover and a 12 volt input. Saw it while I was walking down the street and I had to pick it up. It's a plasma globe. Check it out. I'm sure you've seen one of these before. It's a classic. Look at that. Love it. I thought we'll pull it apart and see what's inside. Have like a little oscillator and a transformer there to step the voltage up. Let's pull it apart and have a look. So that was pretty easy to undo. Just had to desolder the ground wire from the uh, the strap here, and then undo two screws, and the thing came apart. So if we have a look in here, you can see the underside of the globe. There's a hole in the middle there where this wire goes inside to supply the high voltage. And then you can see the post there. That's some sort of conductive glass stuff. There'll be a low pressure gas, argon or neon or something inside there, and then the um, return is through that earth strap. So that's pretty. Pretty simple. Little nipple there. Always love that nipple. Mm -mm. But then we got the circuit. So it's a pretty simple looking circuit. We've got the voltage in here. Looks like we've got a fuse. That little black box there is a fuse. A capacitor for decoupling or smoothing or something. There's our high voltage transformer there. Capacitor, inductor, there'll be a resonant circuit and some transistor for switching. If we turn it over, you can see that big gap here where there's no, no traces or anything that's for high voltage isolation you see the cutouts there as well there's a cutout just here that goes between the um, high voltage and then the ground for the uh, the high voltage side of the transformer that's to stop any um, flash over any arcing and the same here that little cutout there is just to stop any anything from arcing across because right there that's where our high voltage wire comes off so nice nice cleavage clearance there nice big gap so that's um yeah, no problems there at all. So let's uh, have a look at this on a schematic. I'll uh, trace this out and I'll be back in a sec. All right, so I traced out the PCB and I came up with this. It seems to be a variation of a ZVS flyback driver or zero voltage switching flyback driver. It's a um, pretty powerful circuit for generating high voltages. So the way it works basically is we've got our 12 volts input here. We've got our uh, negative or ground and then our positive here. It goes through a one amp fuse, and then we've got a 33 microfarad smoothing cap. Probably does a bit of filtering to stop any high frequency noise coming out and you know, the normal sort of uh, decoupling and whatnot. Then it comes along here, we've got two 2.2K resistors. These are just going to be current limiting resistors for the transistors there. And a uh, inductor over here, capacitor, and then our, um, our transformer here. Pretty basic, not much to it. So basically what's happening is the capacitor here, the 0.15 microfarad capacitor and the 0.17 microhenry uh, inductor, they're acting as a resonant circuit through the, uh, through the transformer. This circuit here is resonating at about 83 kilohertz, 83,000 times a second, it's switching. And uh, that's how fast these are being switched. So having a high frequency like that means you can have a small transformer because the efficiency of the transformer goes up as your frequency goes up. Now, these are set up, it looks maybe familiar. It's a like a multi-vibrator kind of setup. They're switching on and off in turn. And what's telling these things or what's making these things turn on and off back and forth is this little uh, coil here. So you imagine, I'll get a, a pen. You imagine your voltage is coming along here. Nothing here is turned on yet. So it comes through and coming around. This will start to oscillate and say this one here, we turn this one on first. It's going to come around like this and then down to ground. Now it's going to set up a, a uh, magnetic field in the transformer and it's going to be a certain polarity. That's going to induce a similar magnetic field into this winding. Now that's going to cause this transistor to turn off and this one to turn on. Then our voltage is going to come around like this and through this one. That's going to cause our uh, magnetic field to go the other direction 
same here, induce it in the other direction, and it's going to flick the transistors back and forth. So that's basically how it's oscillating. The uh, capacitor here and the inductor here, they're determining how fast it's switching, and this coil is determining which transistor switches. So it's just a multivibrator back and forth, back and forth. Then, of course, you're going to, while that's all happening, it's inducing a current or inducing a voltage or current into this larger winding here, and then you're getting your high voltage. Often the ZVS systems like this, they will have uh, some diodes coming off of these coils up to here. They don't have a separate coil. So from here somewhere, they have a diode coming up to here, and then from yeah, the other coil, they kind of cross over. So it's switching back and forth like this. But I guess diodes are more expensive than a, um, an extra winding on a transformer, so they've done it like this, and it's, it, it works fine. So that's pretty much how this little thing works, and it seems to work quite well. So I hope you found that informative and interesting, and we'll see you next time.